Hi Gemini, this is your reading for the 6th to the 12th of July and you were beaten by Pisces and I've just talked to Brenda from Brenda Terror Readings and there uh, Gemini beat Pisces. Uh, we Each week we have a joke about this but um, anyway welcome back and thank you very much for liking and sharing and you had uh, 80 likes well done Gemini and thank you for your showing your appreciation it does uh, spur me on and motivate me to get the videos done but unfortunately I'm late this week with next week's uh, videos because you all knew that I, I had to go to hospital on Wednesday so I'm sorry um, but this is the Queerance card and the All Over Energy Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday and the Corner cards will be clarified as well with the three Advice cards and if you would like to have an extensive reading done then please look underneath the video in the description box or in the top right hand corner if you click on the little white circle then it will take you to the website and there you can find the different readings on offer there will be also a new reading added on this coming week and that is a crystal ball reading I will use the crystal ball and I will clarify that with cards afterwards okay so let's get started Jemmies and welcome to those new that have landed on the channel by just a coincidence it does have a significant meaning it might be that you have landed on this channel by accident because there might be a very interesting message for you this week first of all we start off with the death card and the death doesn't really mean the real death it means a transformation leaving the old behind going on into a new phase now you've got number 13 here and I love that number it is not bad luck it's good luck it means fellowship so you might be making a new friend and as the death card stands for Scorpio it could be a new friend that is Scorpio that is coming into your life so you're leaving the old behind and going into the new you're no longer the caterpillar you are the butterfly above you you have justice now you could be out of balance so you will be coming back into balance because you're going into a new and a better face you've got number 11 so that's an angel number there's that means that the angels are giving you a doorway to step through that is your new beginning if you are in judicial situation then I would say you will get what you deserve and so will the other and of course justice also represents Libra so it could be a Scorpio or a Libra that uh, you might be meeting or you might be meeting both you've got a lot of person cards in here so I think we'll need uh, we'll learn that there will be more people around you that could be significant now you see the little owl here and justice means usual wisdom okay have a look at things from a different perspective because he's at the top of the tree and he can look down and he can see things from a higher perspective perhaps you might notice uh, something specific when you get another look on things that could help you in your case if you are in a judicial situation or if you have a, a judicial question now uh, I would also advise if you are in a judicial situation try to get help and advice from a wise person a professional preferably on Wednesday you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles represents Virgo which is September so here you are you've got September uh, September is also Libra to October and November so that time could be significant and the Queen of Pentacles is all is Virgo so you could be meeting a Virgo um, and I 
talking about time because I don't usually indicate time because time is man-made. Perhaps in the fall something will begin to grow or something new will begin if it doesn't happen right now. So from the 21st of August till the um, 21st of November that is Virgo, Libra, Capricorn. Those could be the significant months for you and usually the fall is harvest so you might be harvesting something and that might be your new beginning especially if you are in a judicial situation gems um, you might just get your justice in the fall it could be any of these months but you've got the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is she stands for Mother Earth she sows she sows seeds and this is a fertile time on Wednesday it could start now instead of the 21st of August it could even start now especially after the 12th because Mercury goes direct and is not in retrograde anymore after the 12th although um, you might start feeling that the Mercury energy um, because that is our opposing sign that always helps uh, holds us back now we can start moving forward again from Wednesday I would say the ground is fertile for new things to happen so if you can wait until the end of the week until next weekend uh, then on the 12th Mercury will go direct okay will be out of that Mercury retrograde the Queen also doesn't st only stand for fertility but also of birth birth of projects birth of a child you might hear of a birth if you're too mature to uh, and be um, to become a mother uh, then you could become a grandmother or an aunt you will be hearing of a birth the Queen of Pentacles nurtures everything that she sows to enhance and to make sure that she can also harvest harvest <coughs> she's got the got green fingers and when it grows and it comes to blossoming she can pick the fruit so perhaps you might be picking fruit now go and have a look at your yearly video and see whether uh, this week July or whatever resonates with this week in July the page of ones we have on Friday so there will definitely be news this could come from a fire sign but um, this could also come from somebody younger because it's a page and this could be about action taking action or uh, about an action that you have taken if you've taken a judicial action towards a person you might receive the news this week also the page of bonds uh, stands uh, for creativity logic passion so you might meet a fire sign an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius so that could be it it could be an invite uh, an invite to go out to dinner or an invite to celebrate if you get the news that you have won your uh, judicial issue so um, you will get news on your action that you've taken or perhaps something that you have been doing like you've been creative and you've uh, taken an idea and put it into action so perhaps you might have invented something and you might have patented it so you'll get the news that it's patent I'm trying to think of all kinds of different scenarios as I'm reading for thousands of people but definitely it could be a hobby that is transformed into a job and that is growing steadily but surely and will be bringing its return again and again then we have the five of Pentacles at the weekend you might feel out of sorts again 
you might feel out of balance you might feel left out you can see that Bigfoot is feeling left out because the family here are picnicking picnicking so it could be feeling left out from family or a group of people or friends you could feel that you are left out uh, at work perhaps you spent so much time developing something a new idea into action like I said a hobby into is going to come in become work and is going to bring back its uh, revenue every time and perhaps you forgot about your friends and now they are strongly bonded um, but perhaps it could be the Kovic um, you've kept yourself back and your friends um, could be a group that have already got back sooner together than you have so step forward and start talking start communicating and you'll be all right you'll be one of the group again just say hi sorry I've been well or whatever tell them the truth tell them the truth about your idea that you've put into action okay if that is the case or if you've met a new love whether it's a Virgo a Scorpio or a Libra or uh, an Aries uh, Leo or a Sagittarius then uh, introduce your new love to your friends or family the first corner card is the airship you um, the airship is flying above mountains so um, there aren't any problems there are no issues you're far above the mountains as you know if you follow me there is a card the mountain and that means problems issues or get um, you don't have to climb the mountain you can walk the path do it that the mountain make um, means in the Lenemon uh, making mountains out of molehills or making an elephant out of a fly and here you're not doing that because there's no problems at all it's easy sailing your boat of abundance is coming in so abundance could be anything it could be um, money uh, it could be love uh, it could be anything it could be goods because boats were used to transport and export and import goods so something is coming to you in abundance and it could be a claim that you've put out and justice will be done and you will see the money coming in so you have this new beginning and you won't feel out of sorts again okay because people will flock to you so my warning is don't let anybody know that you are a in that you have abundance that you you can say I've won the case and if anybody says well how much did you get compensated or whatever don't tell anybody because you don't want friends for what you have you want friends to recognize you for what you are and who you are you are a beautiful person in your own right everybody is okay so long we don't hurt anybody and stay on straight and narrow then y we are all fantastic individuals and that is what makes us so unique the second corner we have the bunch of flowers so here we have uh, luck okay and somebody could be coming around to see you or visit you and give you a present this could be a small present a gift um, it could be as simple as a bunch of flowers so you do have a lot of admirers you could be a Virgo a Scorpio a Libra or a Sagittarius Aries or Leo Wow so here we are we've got Scorpio we've got the air signs here but we know that the other two are also in the spread and like I said 13 means fellowship so uh, it might be a, a new friend but I think it could be an old friend to come and see you and ask you how are you where have you been well you know come and join the group so just you know 
give a call and say are you still going out there is how is the group doing just keep it airy fairy and light in the bottom corner we have the compass and the compass means that you're on the right path okay you've chosen the right path you're on the right path and you're going to bigger and stronger things but it will take time to grow because you've just planted the seeds and it is time for transformation and you are transforming you are most probably letting go of the old so you're making room for the new and the new is already growing if you know what kind of seeds you've sown then you will know the results now if you don't know what you have sown then it could be a surprise <laughs> okay but you will be receiving news on what you have sown and what you have started but I think like I said you are leaving the old go to make room for the new you're no longer the caterpillar but you're the butterfly and you have one of the most positive cards in Lenemon and you've got the Sun the Sun is Leo there you are that is your fire sign so the significant signs or time could be August September October November till the 21st of November so that is awesome again the Sun represents moving home you might be moving home uh, you might be going on holiday to a warm place you could find out that you're pregnant if you've been trying for a baby then you most probably will uh, conceive in the next three to four months now that the energy is flowing smoothly again be without the mercury retrograde it might just happen unexpectedly and you might not feel well so you go to the doctor and you find out you're pregnant okay now the other scenario is is that you are in the spotlight you are being recognized for your uniqueness Gemini like I said right at the beginning before I even saw the Sun you are in the spotlight a Leo might have an eye on you okay so tread carefully the Leos are lovely people but they are a fire sign and air can gives fire air and then the fire grows so know your boundaries and know their boundaries then you'll be fine and this relationship can grow to an extensive relationship or a permanent relationship especially because the Queen of Pentacles is underneath it and she takes care of what she so like I said and she this card represents slow but steady growth okay in business uh, returning uh, revenue okay so you might even partner up in business with a Leo Wow I think this is really a really good reading because we do have a time indication in this reading as far as I'm concerned not because the compass looks like a clock but we know you're on the right path and because we are in Cancer and we've got Leo and we've got Virgo and we've got Libra and Scorpio just see how this m these months will roll out for you have a look at your uh, year sign and the new version of the yearly reading that was the seven month reading and see where the energy has shifted from the yearly to the seven month forecast I've just done them in April I think or May now your angel card is the brown angel feather so that means earthing yourself well you are earthing you are earthing yourself because you've got the Queen of Pentacles and you're taking a page out of her book okay 
a practical approach is required. The angels advise you to focus on practicalities at this moment, one step at a time. Surely, but certainly, one step at a time. That's the the well the the earth sign. That's what they stand for. And the stone that you can use. <coughs> Uh, to get less stressed or detoxify or get more support or uh, uh, suggestion of task at hand. Do more TA right is organization, orderliness, clutter clearing, list making. Yes, like I said, making room for the new. And number 21 is a three and you are creative. Gemini. So start creating order in your life and organize and declutter. Not all plans will come to fruition, but in planning we learn so much. Have you worked out your plans, making lists and organizations and organizing your thoughts? Like I said, you might be putting your thoughts into action for long term, like your hobby into uh, your your work so I, I think that could be it but if it is going to be your job then you will be have to be highly organized in order to keep the home front and your work separate and but in balance and that is what a mother does like the Queen of Pentacles who is Mother Earth do Mortriite right Spirit's message to you is to take ideas in your head and commit them to paper in an ordinary fashion for you are su supported right now in structuring plans that will help you achieve your fulfillment and healing you seek. Well, it doesn't have to be always healing. It can be actually putting an idea that is a project uh, or product Let's just say uh, hypothetically, you um, you're fed up uh, walking the streets and seeing people in masks, white or green masks, and you've just taken a piece of material and you've made a mask, mask, and it's a pattern, um, or you're making them to order. So you've got um, a, a mouth of a dog or a cat, something like that. You are so creative, Gemini. Something different. And people are ordering and they're asking you, where did you get that mask? Where did you get that mask? And you say, I made it myself. And this is how a hobby turns into a business. And I think the masks are here to stay definitely for a long time. Now, the last card is there will be a peaceful resolution. There you go. So if you are in dire straits in a judicial situation, then there will be a peaceful resolution. Okay, so don't worry your head about it. And um, clarity will prevail. Justice will be done. The truth always comes out. I hope you have enjoyed this reading, Jimmy Jim Jims, and I love you. Big fat smacker from Cybermum and I hope you enjoy your week. Stay safe and be blessed and be creative. Love you and I'll see you on Monday, Wednesday or Friday in the live sessions. Remember I put out the notifications in uh, Instagram, Facebook and the community tab. Ciao ciao. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.